today we are going to discuss about the components of nucleotide now we have seen that a nucleotide has three major components the phosphate group the sugar and the nitrogen pair so first let us start with the sugar now the sugar for the nucleic acids to form or rather the nucleotide to form nucleic acids requires to be a pentose sugar now what is a pentose sugar penta penta means what five so this sugar should contain five carbons now we know that we have two monosaccharides which are five carbon based ribose and ribulose for nucleotides or rather nucleic acids the five carbon sugar that is utilized is ribose so ribose sugar is the main sugar that is present in the nucleic acids to form its backbone okay so we will see how the backbone will be forming in the later stages first let us see the structure of the ribose sugar so as we have discussed it contains five carbons so let me draw the structure here So this is my ribose sugar, the structure of the ribose sugar. So let me name the five carbons for you so that it becomes easy or number the five carbons. One, two, three, four and five. So here are my five carbons. So this is my ribose sugar. Now this ribose sugar is present in all nucleic acids. All nucleic acids like what? mRNA, rRNA and tRNA. So if you see the common denominator for them, the common denominator in all these three is RNA. So ribose sugar is present in RNA and hence its full form name that is riboxynucleic acid because it's a nucleic acid that contains ribose sugar rna is given the name as riboxynucleic acid now there is another form of pentose sugar that is present and this time it is specific only to dna so let us draw that pentose sugar structure let me draw that okay and there's one here H O C H two right so let us uh, number the carbons first so that we got it right one two three four and five so we got the five carbons now let us write the groups H H H H O H and OH. So this is the second type of pentose sugar that is present and I am, I am saying that it is specific only in DNA. Now you people will be start shouting and uh, you will be questioning and discussing among each other like ma'am made a mistake, ma'am made a mistake. Where is that mistake? Let me highlight that mistake for you. So I, you according to you I have made a mistake here. Correct? This is the position where I made a mistake because originally I wrote the ribose sugar and I said that on the second carbon there is a hydroxyl group below and a hydrogen group in the top. But here I have written both hydrogen groups only. I did not add any hydroxyl group. So you must be thinking what is this new sugar? How is it possible? How did it come to existence? Well, let me tell you this sugar is nothing but ribose sugar only but this sugar is called deoxyribose so what is the difference between this sugar and that sugar what is the difference between the ribose sugar and the deoxyribose sugar you can tell it very clearly the main difference is the loss of oxygen from the second carbon 
So the second carbon, the oxygen group is lost. So hydroxyl became the hydrogen group. And this sugar is called as the deoxyribose sugar. And this deoxyribose sugar is present in DNA. So both DNA and RNA have ribose sugar. But the structural difference is RNA has ribose sugar whereas DNA has deoxyribose sugar. And hence its name deoxy ribonucleic acid clear ma i hope this is clear okay now let's go to the next one that is the phosphate group 